In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you everything you need to know about editing effects in Mixed Emergency's Effects Sequencer. To begin editing an effect mapping, you'll first need to click on the Effects Mapping control to open the Edit window. You can click the pencil symbol in the top corner of the Edit window to give the mapping a descriptive title. This will also show in the Effects Mapping control. The control labelled Beats allows you to set the duration of the mapping, which can be useful if you want to animate an effect over a longer period than one beat. The control labelled Effects allows you to set which of Mixed Emergency's effects will be used. You can type the name of the effect with your keyboard to quickly select it. The control labelled Blend allows you to select how the effect will be composited over the output. It's worth experimenting with these as you can create some great effects using different blend modes. Below these controls are the three mapping graphs. These allow you to edit the effect mix, effect parameter 1 and effect parameter 2. If the parameters aren't available for the selected effect, then these will appear greyed out. The graphs can contain up to 16 points, but in their simplest form, with only a single point, they act like a slider control, with 0% at the bottom and 100% at the top. You'll notice that the effect is mixed in and out again as I move this point between the top and bottom points. You can think of the horizontal axis as being the duration in beats that we selected above with the beats control. In the following two examples, you can see the effect being mixed in from 0% to 100% over the beat and then mixed out from 100% to 0% over the beat. To add a new point to the mapping graph, simply double click on the graph at the position you would like to add the point. Alternatively, you can right click and select add point. To remove a point from the mapping graph, double click on the point that you wish to remove. You can also right click on the point and select remove point. To move a point, simply click on the point and drag it to its new position. To move a point precisely, hold down the shift key when clicking on a point and then drag it to its new position. Notice the indicators that pop out to the sides of the graph. These will display the current value at the point's position and are really useful when positioning points. To create a smooth curve from a point, hold down the option key while clicking a point, then drag the curve control point to create the desired curve. You can also copy and paste mapping graphs. Simply right click on the mapping graph and select either copy or paste. It's also possible to copy and paste entire effects mappings on the effects sequencer window. Again, right click the control and select either copy or paste. It's important to learn the basics of editing the effects sequencer, as the mapping graphs are used in a number of other features of Mix Emergency, such as the Mixer Effects section. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't done so already, be sure to download Mix Emergency from inkland.com.